Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Nizio Cole, and it is that time of week. You know what we're talking about. We're going to be talking about all things 8.30 in this video. Before we start, make sure to drop a like down below, hit that notification bell, and comment down below what you're most excited for in this update. And yeah, let's get started. Now, before we get into any actual Fortnite news, I just thought I'd talk about this. We actually got a creator code, Nizio underscore team, capital N, capital T. Put that in the bottom right corner of your item shop to make sure that you're supporting us, and we would greatly appreciate that. Now that that's out of the way, let's get Get started now the first thing that i'm going to be talking about is actually something having to do with the world cup fortnite is basically banning stretch resolution if you don't know what that is it's basically where people modify their game so that they can play on different resolutions i honestly i'm going to be real with you guys i've never seen any i've tried it before i don't see any benefit to stretch res it doesn't really help it just looks ridiculous and i hate streamers that play on stretch res or just a ridiculous resolution like 1080 by 1080 in the near future we will be updating how we handle custom resolutions on pc when using a custom resolution vertical field of view will be locked horizontal field of view will be unlocked in all modes but in competitive playlists like the arena and the in-game tournaments, we will be locking the aspect ratio to 16 by nine, which I think is a good change to just have everyone on the same playing field. I don't know why TTV kids think that they're so much better than everyone because they play stretch resolution. It doesn't provide any benefit, just in my opinion, from what I've experienced, from what I've seen. But hey, if you wanna do that, you can do it, but just not in $100 million tournaments. Now the highlight of 8.30 is definitely the reboot van. It's actually pretty simple, but I'll just go ahead and play the video that they released on their dev channel real quick. What's up Fortnite community? It's your Banana Mooney here to talk about a new feature landing in Fortnite next week. The reboot van. Lose a squad mate early in the match, bring him back and finish strong. In the next update, we'll introduce the reboot van to major POIs as well as a new item to be picked up called reboot cards. It's pretty straightforward. After a squad mate has been eliminated, grab their dropped reboot card and any surviving squad mates can activate it at a van. Once activated, you'll definitely know as a beacon and audio cue will be set off, informing nearby players to the reboot in progress and how many players will be arriving. Your squad will appear one by one on top of the van, ready to jump back into the match. Keep in mind, after your squad reboots, the van will be unavailable to reactivate for a duration of time. Remember to toss some items to your rebooted teammates to get them back into the battle. As with all new features, drop in, try it out, and let us know your thoughts. Until next time, it's your Banana Mooney, and I got a split. So yeah, pretty self-explanatory. All you have to do is when your teammate dies, grab the reboot card, go to a reboot van, and then essentially plug them in. They'll respawn one by one, depending on what game mode you're in. So this is actually a really cool change and to the people saying that this is basically just copying Apex, I mean, yeah, sure, they could have gotten a little bit of inspiration from Apex, but for the most part, I'm with Fortnite on this one in that it's just a change that I see that would make their game better and add more features. And I think it's really cool and I don't actually have a problem with games taking inspiration from other games as far as other entertainment goes. I don't see why people are so upset about this, probably because of the siphon thing. Yeah, people are pretty upset about Siphon. It's kind of hard not to acknowledge. I figured I'd talk about it in this video. So basically, if you guys don't know what Siphon was, if you've been living under a rock for the past three months, it's basically health per kill, shield per kill, and a 40% faster farm rate. And they kind of removed all that in the last update and people are not happy. I mean, look, you look under any Fortnite Twitter post and it's literally just all revert, revert, revert. And to be honest, I don't really care that much. I, I don't know why people are so upset, but uh, I mean, it was a cool feature, definitely nice, definitely. But they said they removed it because it promoted an aggressive playstyle. But the thing is, people are gonna finish your teammates anytime. I talked about this in the last update video. Regardless of if they're siphon or not, people are gonna finish. And people always will in any battle royale game. It's just a staple of how people play. The gaming community is toxic. People just gotta acknowledge that. People are gonna finish. People want kills, okay? I mean, it's not, it's just that simple. If you want to alleviate this problem, all you have to do is create a longer shield. I know they they actually have added a shield, a uh, beam shield, so it's not instant. Uh, just make it five, seven seconds instead of like two or three. That's all you have to do. It's not that difficult. At the end of the day, do I like Siphon? Yes, I kind of miss it. it. It was a really good feature, honestly. Does it break the game? No. We've gone a year and a half without Siphon already, so I think we'll do just fine. You know, it's actually funny if you pull up their Twitter account, like if you want Siphon back, like if you want Siphon back. So yeah, uh, people really, really want Siphon back. Hopefully, 
hopefully they listen because I think it was a I think it was a good feature just in my opinion but yeah so those are pretty much the highlights of 8.30 that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video again make sure to put our creative code in the bottom right hand corner of the item shop if you want to support us and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want more content like this and I'll see you guys later peace